Alright, welcome to programming exercise number, uh, I believe it's nine. Alright, the problem is, uh, write a program that reads in a sentence entered by the user containing four words, and then outputs the sentence in a different order. Be sure to include a function that displays the instructions to the user. Um, so, yeah. We're going to go ahead and jump right into it, because I assume if you've watched some of them before, you know that, you know, go try yourself. <laughs> uh, okay, just including input output stream. We're also going to include string, because that's how we're going to take in the sentence. Uh, we're going to do instructions, like the thing said, uh, using namespace, as always and the main. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the instructions first, obviously, but I'm gonna actually write that first. That way I just have it out of the way. Um, okay, basically, let's see. Um, enter a, um, let's see, uh, this program prompts you to enter a sentence uh, that was just a line return um, oh my god this camera is bad right now okay um, this program prompts you to enter a sentence and uh, containing four words and it rearranges the order which it'll it'll do it it'll be a little bit more interesting it's just uh I'm trying to, I, I want to try and not have two parts for this video I'm trying to do it quickly okay obviously this calls the function so that that should be obvious I'm not going to explain any of that um Okay, we're going to do a string sentence um, to hold the sentence entered by the user. And since we're saying it's going to contain four words, we're going to need to say word one, word two, word three, and word four, which is where it's going to be extracted. We're also going to do int a, which is basically going to locate the spaces in between the words in order to extract um, which basically it's gonna find the spaces and then send it's gonna assign the word to them or we'll you'll you'll see in a second okay um, let's just output enter a sentence containing four words uh, whoops, you have to do the get line um, because, um, we're entering in spaces, and that way CN won't accept that, or spaces it won't. Okay, now basically what we're going to do is we're going to do A equals, um, uh, I'm kind of going blank, shit, A equals sentence, fine, sorry about that, have my moments, okay, so basically this is going to search through and find the first space, that's all it's going to do, and then we're going to do word one, assign, and then the, the first part is going to be sentence, that's what, what string we're going to use, and then the second is going to be the position starting, and the first letter in the in the uh, string is zero. The value is zero, and the second is one. The third is two. Um, so it doesn't start at one. It starts at zero. And uh, the last the last little uh, position is for how how many letters to go for. And since it, it's finding the space, so say if I entered in a four letter word and then a space, so a would be equal to four. But since it's starting we don't have to do a minus one or anything because since it's starting at zero four spaces is actually the whole word and not the space hopefully that makes sense
um, when I execute the program it'll be uh, more clear and then um, let's do sentence erase and then we're gonna do it's the position you want to start and then a plus one because again this is by count not by location and so this will eliminate the space also and that way we don't have we can only we just use a um, a is uh, sentence same thing tens find um, the reason I'm doing this is again is because if the first one is th this would still be four say the second word I enter is six letters well if this is equal to four it would cut off two of the letters so you have to reassign it again otherwise if they enter something more or even less it would still give you spaces so it would be stupid um, and basically word y y it's the same thing again because the the only thing that's changing is the word the position is actually the same because I'm doing sentence erase so hopefully that makes sense um, I'm just gonna type it out plus one uh, you know what I'm just gonna copy it because I don't that way hopefully I don't get to 11 minutes okay and then this is gonna be word three right that should be the only thing I have to change and then word four at save time okay um and then I'm gonna output a certain way but this is just to you know mess around this isn't really important you can output it however you want uh, uh, word I'm gonna enter it. I'm not even gonna do it in another sentence I'm just gonna re-output it uh, for um, three word three this does have a purpose I promise word one whoops I'm gonna move this over word two whoops okay that's that's all that happened um uh if I'm not mistaken I think I'm done if I don't didn't mess up or anything. Turn. Oops, already had one of those. Okay, so let's run it and see. Okay, cool. I didn't mess up. Okay, so there was a purpose to that order. 4312, second ago. Okay, this program prompts you to enter a sentence containing four words and it rearranges the order. Okay, so say my name is Bob. Bob is my name. So that that obviously this would be word one, word two, word three, word four, and I rearranged it four three one two. Um, that's the reason I did that. You can rearrange it in any order. You can reassign it to uh, w an individual string if you'd like, whatever you want. Um, but that's it. Thanks.